Think about planning to wrestle. Yes. Flash Norton and this big, big man. We say this is where the big boys play, and would you take a look at with a big boy right there? And how about the big boys we saw recently at WCW Uncensored as the Alliance and Hulkamania came out wow. with guys like Z Gangster and the Final Solution. Were those guys big or what? Look like a housing development. Speaking of, of big, skyscrapers. Speaking of big guys, Max Muscle, another big guy. And here's a case of two very powerful, muscular men locking it up here on Worldwide Wrestling. Like you mentioned uh, a few weeks ago, Ice Train, uh, when he started in the sport, he wasn't really ready, took some time off, did his homework, trained a little harder, and he'll probably have the edge in this match because I know Max Muscle spends a lot of time at the gym working out with heavy, heavy weights. I'm not sure how much he does on the mat. Nothing there, both men. I guess maybe the quickest man will come out of that with the advantage here because I think as far as strength is concerned, they're just about equal. Wraps him, shoves him to the far side. Shoulder block takedown, and here we go. Over the top goes Muscle. And Muscle Whoa. way up high again. The other Muscle. Ice train. Sends him in and clotheslines him down. Did you hear that clothesline? Wow. This is really where the big boys fight. I think Ice Train has a little more agility than Max Muscle. Do you see him with that vertical leapfrog? Yes. Leg and that strength. can make a difference. Max Muscle now getting the advantage. With ease, he scoops up Ice Train, puts him to the center of the ring. And there's the quickness again. You talked about brain of Ice Train. Moving out of the way, Ice Train on the attack now. Big sledgehammer blows right between the shoulder blades. So you always want a man with strong legs because once the legs go, then everything else goes. That's where all your strength and power and endurance comes from. Ice train, oh. rebounding, big standing splash. He got, got him. him. Yes, sir. That little extra the Eddie Guerrero leap into the air, that spring, that jackknife did it for him. You talked about the leg spring, and we saw a couple of examples of it. Uh, most notably, the one that pinned Max Muscle. The fans love Ice Train, and why not? What a competitor he is in WCW. I didn't think it'd be this easy. I thought it'd be a longer match, and I thought they'd stand toe-to-toe -to -toe a lot more. It was obvious to me that this Ice Train is just a very, very powerful man who has done his homework. And I was, I was right here. When he hit him with that clothesline, it sounded like a, a cannon going off. Look at the height he gets here. Look at that leap. Jackknife for the one, two, and the three. You better be careful if him and Scott Norton get together. It could be very hard to beat. And the World Tag Team Champions may have to watch out for. We're talking about Sting and Luger, who will be with us later on in this telecast, as well as U.S. Champ Conan. But right now, this very special interview.